that's a good one, pretty standard. It's not just a travel bug hotel, it's a ladybug hotel. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> On this episode of Cache Canada, we're going to be exploring Savannah by favorite points. We picked eight out of the top 12 caches by favorite points. Yep, we're gonna to tour Savannah and we want you to come along with us, but there's something that you can do as well. Of the eight caches with all the favorite points, tell us which one you like the best. Mm. Or did you have more than one? Or would you favorite them all? <laughs> Let's go. That geocache here at Outdoor World has a suitable title. It says, start your search here. And isn't that just perfect? Now, is it worthy of the 149 favorite points that it had? Let us know. <laughs> she just loves doing that. <laughs> Do you need the pin? Nope. I nope. think it works. Okay. I think we've done one just like this before, and she found what we needed, and uh, we just got to figure out where it goes, and then we'll get into this one. We did one like this almost identically, we think, in Michigan with Bob Billy, and this is definitely worth probably the 174 favorite points that it has, eh? Oh, yes. There she goes. Well, the door moved. Oh, you got it. It went in, not out. Cool. Did it work? Yep. We got it. Push, not pull. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> so, 174 favorite points. Worth it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That was a really good one. Two more from us. Hey, let's pull two down. Ready? Ding. There we go. Me love cookie. Now we understand the title. Not only is it uh, Cookie Monster right in the front there, but there's a cookie shop right over here. I think I'm going to have to go taste some because the the aromas in the air are just amazing. But first, this one, it says, push, pull, slide, gently, but not necessarily in that order. And I've already seen something I think could help us get into the container. And I did it, and I didn't even need Ms. Lear glasses help. Got it all on my own. Push, pull, <laughs> slide. <laughs> sure, you don't need me. Oh, I still need you. I might have to climb a tree. <laughs> can't do the geocache about cookies, smell the aromas, and not come in and get some. Mmm, and they look great. I wonder if the smart cookies, do they make you smart? <music> 269 favorite points. I think it's worth every one. Rather cool sight. It's a readout from the Revolutionary War and the Battle of Savannah. It's pretty cool. It's still here. And there's a 5 1 geocache here. But we don't think that we're going to be able to show it to you because the cache owner doesn't want any spoilers. So let's just see. But we can at least show you the site and where the cache is located because that's no secret. This readout was British controlled and Savannah at the time was an armed camp basically and the French and American army came and laid siege to this area and the British inside tried to defend it. And the battle that ensued generated the second highest number of casualties in the entire world. Next up, the waving girl. It 
It didn't take too long to find, but then the hint really helped kind of narrow down what you weren't looking for. From there, I just spotted it within 30 seconds. But I can't show you because it would be a real spoiler. He's pretty speedy. <laughs> yeah, and this is the most favorited geocache mm -hmm. in all of Savannah. And it's a pretty cool spot. Everybody seems to really come here and take pictures and I don't know what she's doing. She's well, waving her if, magic carpet. If you would read the, the thing now. I have to read? Yes. What? Oh. Her immortality stems from her friendly greeting to passing ships, ah. a welcome to strangers entering the port, and a farewell to wave them safely onward. Hmm. Very cool. Friendly girl. Oh, you're right. It does have a bit of a strange uh, All right. So what are you doing? I'm going. <laughs> Apparently on this spot, if you make a noise, it echoes back to you. And it's called X marks the spot. It's a virtual geocache with more than 250 favorite points. Holy doodle. So one of the top 12. pretty sure that uh, it's missing. Yeah, yeah. We, we figured out where it probably was. Yeah, we have a really good idea. We texted a friend who found it last month and we're pretty sure it's missing. So we messaged the uh, CO and uh, we just found one like this uh, not too long ago. And somebody found it just today. Yeah. So, so I don't know what's going on. Whatever. So we put a DNF and yeah. uh, we'll be back tomorrow and see if we can find it. So it's kind of hard for you to rate that one as whether it's worthy its favorite point or not but uh it was a cool one though yeah it has over 200 favorite points but oh. just not from us Hey there. You know, life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. And same with Cash Canada, you never know what you're going to get. Somewhere in this park... In Savannah, Georgia, is where they filmed Forrest Gump. Yeah, that special scene where he's talking about the box of chocolates and waiting for a bus. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And one of the tour guides or somebody we met mentioned that that bench was in the Smithsonian now. We're in a museum. It or is. Something. So, it says that in this cache too. Yeah. So, it, well, but it was in this park here. So that's pretty cool. Claim to fame. And we were just here doing the Adventure Labs, mm -hmm. and we just did one of the, the virtuals. virtuals. Yes. Yeah. So cool. We want to thank Ranger Dock and other geocachers for all the great geocaches we found here in Savannah. They were just amazing. Yeah, we did a lot of walking, a lot of exploring, saw some cool things that we would not have seen otherwise. Mm -hmm. Keep watching, there's many more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take thank you? you.